What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. It is uh, 8.35 right now. I'm gonna try to get on some bass. Uh, it's clearing up, it started out as a pretty overcast day and now uh, we do have a little bit of sun, so hopefully a little visibility, that'd be great. I'd love to uh, shatter another PB, that would be fantastic. And you know, as I keep saying, uh, betting time of year is definitely the time of year to catch your biggest bass. You are a bass fisherman. Love that. This spot's pretty crazy. Definitely can't see a thing in the water, but it might be worth it just to blind cast. Spot number one. Definitely not clear enough. Sun's coming out, thank God, but uh, making it real hard to see. And then the pollen is everywhere, so. We're gonna have to find a lake with clear water. Conditions just need to be a little better for betting. You just search until you find some, so. Number two, get here and I immediately see a bed right there. Pull this guy off. Nice little two, not bad. Just in the meantime, while I get his uh, girlfriend, he's chilling in there. Well, that was super sick. Um, bed right there saw it immediately saw the bass on it and uh, pulled the male off and now uh, he's over there in that little holding tank trying to get a close-up of this bed that's it right there I just moved this tree over here um, and she is chasing off any bass that are anywhere around here This fish is being a real pain in the ass. Let's, let's do it, let's get him. This is what to look for. Just shells, any kind of light sand. He has brushed away, I mean, all this brown over here, all this kind of leaves and under foliage, they brush this away to expose the sand to lay eggs and just hard surfaces as they can. You got another one right here. Might be a decent one. There's another one right here. Like there are so many beds in this thing. They're all about pounders. That first bed has that four pounder that we need to catch. There's another one. There's another bass right there. I mean, there are so many beds right here. This is gonna be cool. There's another one. Good Lord. I don't even see a bass, but this is such a bed. Right there. 
know we did some fish. I'm gonna take this off. Our biggest of the day. A little two and a half pounder. Right in the side of the lip. Hopefully got this on uh, a little GoPro footage, but um, he was playing with it for a while, very wary, and uh, finally took it. So yeah, good one. Right back on the bed. Pretty damn productive day. I could not miss that. And I know this lens doesn't have a polarizer, but I mean, right there, rocks, oysters, uh, sand. It's just easy here. And there's one right over here, so let's get on the next one. Solid number three or four. Fish are just tanking these flies. There's like a four pounder with him, so I'm gonna try to get him back on the other side. There's a little youngin. I'm just dragging the fly right through the middle. We're kind of like hopping it. It just equates to like a slow strip. Kind of waiting, seeing what the bass is feeling. He's about to eat it. Probably a pound, pound and a half. Oh man, he's all over it. Trying down on it. I switched to pink and this uh, male finally. She's gonna release yourself, huh? Male finally bit. I just need one of those females to bite. They're like four, four and a half pounds. They keep on like swirling from bed to bed. Like I see them right there. Just cruising from bed to bed. I need to find out which one's theirs. So this is where my sound went out on the microphone because of a loose connection in my camera and the uh, microphone input. But basically right now I'm telling you that uh, this fish is very wary and I'm trying multiple different fly patterns, multiple different uh, strip patterns and like speeds and basically uh, you know distances and all kind of stuff over the course of like 30, 45 minutes and still can't get them. So uh, it starts raining and basically um, the next couple clips are from another session where I'm still trying to get that same exact fish. I told you, dude, this is my spot. I mean, there's a ton of fish in here. I just don't know how they behave when they're not on beds. I, I really only catch them in here on beds. Like the rest of the year, normal pond hopping, I would never come here. Oh yeah, oh my God. Damn, that was a big fish. Yeah. I just that up. Yep. Yep. Oh no. Are you kidding me? Dude, how does it keep coming out of his mouth? That's like a four or five pounder. Dude, I mean, he's gonna eat. Yeah, how do you get out of two hook sets? Dude, he ate it again. This fish is getting caught. He's off the bed, but he's, he's like territorial as hell. Oh yeah, there it is. That's him. Oh. <sighs> what the f
Oh yeah. God, I miss that. Got him. Finally got that fish. Wow, that's a good one. Finally got him. Been trying to catch this one for a while. Same one from over there. Been fishing this pond for a while with the fly rod and uh, finally lucked out. This little guy. About four. session in a row on that bed. I finally got that fish. That is a good feeling. Nice. It was a totally different game today. There was no ifs, ands, or buts. He took it three times. And... Holy crap. That was awesome. Welcome to Charleston. Blue crab right there. What's up, little guy? Being crabby in a pond. Damn, what a great day. Finally got that fish. And sometimes when you're betting, it just takes this long. Sometimes fish's mood change within a couple days, whether it's the egg hatching cycle or the weather or visibility. Sometimes their mood just changes and you have to wait till they're aggressive like today. But uh, anyway, I appreciate you watching, especially towards now, uh, probably like 15 minutes into this video. But yeah, if you, if you liked it, subscribe for more Charleston uh, outdoor content and uh, like and comment any questions you have towards the bedding process. I'd be happy to help if you're trying to locate bedded bass. And as usual, get the hell outside.